Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you and your families are doing well. So in today's session, we are going to discuss top 10 most asked JavaScript front-end coding output based interview questions. So the list is curated based on the frequency of the questions which are asked in uh, so many companies front-end or full stack interview. So please do watch till end and do not hesitate to write your queries or suggestion in the comment box. So last but not the least, uh, please do not hesitate to subscribe the channel if it is helping you in any possible way and you can share the content with your friends. So the first question we are going to say is how to calculate the function length. Okay, so if you see we have a function sum which is taking three parameters a, b and c and returning a plus b plus c. So you need to tell me what is going to be the output for this sum dot length. I'm not going to make it uh, very easy for you. So I'm just going to assign b is equal to 2. Okay, so let me execute and show you what is going to be the output. So you are getting one. So the length of function is one because function length is calculated before the default parameter. OK, so if you say b is equal to two, so b has the default value. So function length is going to consider only first parameter, which is a. OK, so if I write c is equal to two, which means we have two parameters before a default parameter. OK, so function length will now give you two. So here you go. It is now giving you two. If there are no default parameters, then obviously function length is going to be the total number of parameters. So you'll be getting three. Our second question is around the concept of destructuring with a default value. Okay, so if you see we have const a is equal to 10 and we are destructuring with a undefined. So what's going to be the output? Is it gonna be 10 or is it gonna be undefined? So it is giving you 10. The reason being when it is undefined, okay, default value is going to be applied. But what if I replace this with null are you still gonna get 10 so the answer is no so only in case of undefined default value is going to be applied but in this case you will be getting null so that's not the case only with the null it is applied to all the falsy values okay so what are the falsy values we have in javascript so it can be null it can be empty string okay it it can be zero it can be false or it can be none okay not a number with all these five values default is not going to be applied okay so you'll be getting output whatever written here all right in the third question we are going to discuss the concept of this inside arrow function okay so this is a simple object where we have the first property as name second property is a function itself and this is not a normal function this is a arrow function okay and we are printing simply hello comma this dot name okay so you need to tell me what is going to be the output is it going to print hello punkers so let me just run and show you so it is printing hello comma undefined arrow function does not have their own this okay? so they use it from the lexical context or which means from the global scope but here we do not have any global variable called name okay so how to print hello punkers so you need to simply turn this arrow function to a normal function okay so how to do this let's remove this let's remove this okay so this has become a normal function now okay so this has its own this so let me run and show you so here you go so our next question is about the closer in the loop okay so i have taken a for loop which starts from 0 to 3 but main thing to note here is we are using var okay then this is a callback function set timeout which is printing i after 1000 millisecond okay so you need to tell me what is going to be the output is it gonna be 0 comma 1 comma 2 so let me run and show you so you are getting output here 333 3, 3. so what could be the reason so the reason is where is a function of scope which means all the three callbacks is going to point the same i value which end up being at three okay so that is the reason you are getting three here so how to fix it? so we are going to discuss that with question number five uh closer in a loop with late okay so if i convert this var to late you are going to get zero one and two so what could be the reason we are getting zero one and two because late is a block of scope which means for every block we'll have a different i value for the first block we'll have i is equal to zero for the second we'll have i is equal to one and for the third one we'll have i is equal to two so if you run it you should be getting zero one and two so here you go now we have next question from the concept of hoisting so we are printing here a console.log a is it gonna print a is equal to five or is it gonna throw error or is it gonna print undefined which is the default value so let me execute so it is printing undefined so that is the concept of hoisting so you can actually use any variable before you initialize it so is this the case with the late or const also so the answer is no late or const cannot be hoisted so if i convert it to late that cannot access a before initialization okay same goes with the const so let me run and show you so here you go you're getting error here as well 
so the next question is from the concept of logical and or short circuit okay so here i am doing console.log zero and and pankaj so you need to tell me the output whether it's going to print zero pankaj or some error okay so let me run and show you so it is printing zero so the reason being this operator and and takes the first falsy values okay so this is my first falsy value so it has printed zero okay what will happen if i convert it to or so this time it will print punkers because or will take the first truthy value okay so this is falsy value and this is truthy value so this will print punkers okay so here you go so we are into the question number eight which talks about implicit type coercion in javascript okay so if i write like this within quotation five minus two so we'll be seeing two to three variation here okay so uh for the first one the output should be three because it will uh subtract five minus two okay now for the second case if i write here instead of minus if i write plus is it gonna give you seven so the answer should be no so plus will simply concatenate it okay so five plus two will give you 52 so here you go now what will happen if i write plus here so plus will convert this uh, string value to a number okay so five plus two you will be getting as seven so here you go okay so what if i write plus true so this will give you five plus two seven plus one eight because if you add plus before a boolean it will be converted to a number so true is a boolean right so it will be converted to one hence you'll be getting eight as the output okay all right so in our next interview question we are going to see promise chaining with return versus throw okay? what if i write here dot catch and we are going to say error error plus one okay? dot then and console dot log all right what will be the output just think take your time and answer it meanwhile let me execute and show you so if you see here here x value will become two so error is now two here okay but in the catch block we are incrementing error with plus one okay? here you go all right we are into the question number 10 so here we are going to see how promise work with uh, a sync and await function what if i write here function dot then so i'm using promise okay and then i'm using console dot log so let me tell you async always returns a promise so this line seems to be valid for this async function okay so this should return you five but what if this is not a async function so in this case will it work so the answer should be no it will not work because normal function does not return you the promise so if i run it you should be getting some error